All right, so um, I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, set up Lunar. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> since it's a Python application, you'll need Python to run it. So just go to python.org, downloads, scroll down in this list here. I recommend 3.0. 10.5 because that's what I use so click download scroll down and then click the 64-bit version open in folder just double click on it and make sure you click this checkbox or else it will not work um, and then click install now If I sound weird, it's because I just got up like 30 minutes ago, so. <clears throat> okay, click close, close out of that. And then you wanna also get um, Lunar, which I'm just gonna go to my website to get. here click on the code button and click on download zip and then open in folder or show in folder <clears throat> now you'll need winrar or 7zip some something to extract i think windows has a built-in um a built-in way to extract files but i'm not sure so <clears throat> but anyways uh you want to extract it to the name of the file you do not want to double click on it because it'll open it up in WinRAR and it's just a pain. So just extract. It'll create a new folder, open it up. And now we need to install all these requirements. Now they didn't include all the requirements. Um, so the thing is when you try to install them or whenever you try to run it, it might say some of them are not found and you have to install those manually. But it's not that hard. Um, okay, I just want to type python lunar.py. Actually, no, 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 I'm stupid. Um, you can install requirements. Python or pip install dash r space requirements.txt, which is the name of this file. I already have everything. Um, I probably should have uninstalled them just to demonstrate, but it should work fine. The t it the first package it installs, I think, is Torch, which takes forever because it's like two gigabytes. So just be patient. And um, I had issues with so like it installed Torch perfectly fine and installed some of the other packages fine, and then it got stuck on like some on a package so I just closed out of it and redid like redid this and pip install dash r requirements and then it resumed and it worked um, so if that happens to you just do that um, now we can run lunar so python space lunar dot pi and now you'll need to enter your x and y axis sensitivity from fortnite um, but it only accepts one number here, which means your X and Y axis in Fortnite need to be the same. So if your X axis, for example, if your X axis is like 12 and then your Y axis is 12.1, you need to change one of them to match the other. And then you'll enter that number in here. So if, I don't know what mine is, but I'm just going to put 12. Um, targeting sensitivity, um, just put whatever it is, and there you go, and then it'll complete that, I think it's going to install, yeah, YOLO, and you also need an NVIDIA graphics card for this to work, if you have AMD it's not going to work. 
And if you don't have a graphics card and you just have a um, integrated graphics uh, CPU, it's not going to work. Um, and that makes it that makes it seem like it's a like a Bitcoin miner, but it's not. It's just because it runs off AI. So the AI uses your GPU to figure out where everyone's at. <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, that's it. And then you just press F1 to enable it and F2 to quit. There you go. Um, that's how to install Lunar.